Kulayut State Airport. Automated weather observation 2147 Zulu. Wind 020 at 13. Peak gusts 24. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 14 Celsius. Dew point minus 02 Celsius. Altimeter 3023. Remarks. Density altitude minus 200. Landing at Quillu was a very difficult approach. The winds were very gusty and, and seemed to shift a lot. And so I had trouble keeping the airplane uh, shiny side up and straight down the center line coming in on final approach. So I intentionally made the final a little bit, uh, a little bit high and a little bit fast just uh, since I wasn't sure, especially passing through the tree line, what kind of uh, wind, wind shear, if any, might be encountered. But uh, as you often expect, you know, dropping down towards the surface of the runway, things got nice right before touchdown. There was, uh, there was no final scares. As I taxied into position for departure, I wasn't able to find a hold short line, so I just had to kind of estimate uh, before I did my run-up and made my call. And I was hoping the winds would have died down and uh, become calm, but uh, they died down a little bit, but they were still still gusting pretty good. Uh, the takeoff itself was pretty routine, but uh, on the climb out, and then actually the entire trip down the coast, well, about halfway down the coast, it was really, it was really bumpy. I was hoping to do a lot of nice photography and so on. That turned out to be a lot more difficult than I expected. So first we'll see Ozette Lake, and I flew over um, the east side of Ozette Lake toward the north corner. And what I'm what I'm actually after here is the westernmost contiguous land point in the 48 states, which is this uh, a point right off of the northeast corner of Lake Ozette. It's actually not what you see ahead of you is actually uh, Nia Bay. And so that's, you think of Nia Bay as the westernmost point. Actually, uh, Nia Bay is not the westernmost point, pretty surprisingly. It's uh, right off of Ozette is the western point. So right there ahead of me, uh, what you see is the westernmost point of land in the contiguous 48. So there we go. And then after that, my plan is just to continue down the coast. And uh, I was also interested in, in seeing La Push and Rialto Beach which comes up uh, reasonably quick. So there's Lake Ozette again, going off the left-hand side. And after Lake Ozette, I don't know if you'll see it in the video, but you know, the, the Quillet Airport again. And La Push is, is right there, on, or just on the coast, right by Quillute. And that's where Rialto Beach is. The whole time I was maintaining between 23 and 2500 feet and uh, the reason for that is that you'll notice that along uh, the coastline here north of of Copalis is the relatively new, I mean it's, it's been there for a while now but it's it's one of the newer restrictive features is that there's the, the purple dotted line which says flight operations below 2000 feet AGL violate re regulations. So this is uh, unlike the blue dotted area, which is we'd really rather you didn't fly too low here. This is a actual uh, in, uh, legal enforcement. So make sure that if you're going to fly in this area, you maintain above 2,000 feet AGL along the coastline here. And, and since it was turbulent, I wanted to maintain a little bit higher. So in case I had a downdraft or something like that, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't be skirting right on the edge.
coming into Ocean Shores had a 90 degree crosswind, which is, you know, I don't do a lot of, of crosswind landings, uh, so that's kind of unusual. It wasn't too strong, about 8 knots, according to the reporting point at Hoquiam. But um, I thought, oh, well, you know, Hoquiam's a little bit a little bit further out, maybe, that it's more uh, more down the runway here. But nope. Uh, you know, and so after landing, I, I could kind of tell on final, it's kind of crabbed weird. And uh, then I looked at the windsock, and sure enough, it's just right perpendicular to the runway.